All right, good morning, Synergy fans. We have an announcement, and um, Janai is going to be here. This is kind of key. Uh, this might be a little misleading, <laughs> but uh, after maintenance October 8th, Thursday, oof, you will then have a chance to recruit her fake core, Janai's fake core, missing an arm. <laughs> but that's okay. Different universe, right? She could still be an idol. <laughs> so let's see what we're looking at here. Um, she removes a buff, gains a mana. Gains a mana if the character's health is over 80% or more. Removes one mana from target and gain one mana if the health is target is 30% or less. So, mana absorb 4 gives her, I mean, it's constantly hooking her up with, uh, with mana, so that's nice. It's nice to see characters that have their own generation versus, uh, needing a battery. Uh, a buff increases attack speed of all allies on the same row, which is nice. Um, her being slow, I guess it'll help her as well. Uh, decreases attack of all targets by 40% for, for 7 turns. Uh, decreases the uh, can be removed. Decreases uh, per buff removed. Okay, so decreases the attack of all target by forty percent. So I I wonder if like poison is a debuff. I don't think poison is a debuff. I think like damage reduction, speed reduction. I think that's what qualifies in most normal games, but. I'm pretty sure everyone here that, that plays this game knows that this game doesn't like to uh, really explain itself very well. I'll, I'll let you know what... what you, you can let me know what fan meeting. <laughs> uh, so Superstar flicks the attention mark for 7 turns to the target when the skill hits Superstar. Okay, so, so it flicks the attention mark for 7 turns to the target when the skill hits increases all damage over time on the targets with attention so this this is just something that just randomly hits them afflicts the the attention mark for, for seven turns how how does it how does it afflict them with with this what what why how please is this called superstar is this called superstar no right <laughs> like what is causing her to give the the superstar passive to to lock in to then increase damage over time um it's it's kind of like a a dot buff but what causes the superstar to to, to go off right what what happens what, what activates it and then fan meeting afflicts the anti-fan mark to the target when attacked so this one actually sorry it was it must have been this one superstar because the fan meeting you just have to attack somebody and it triggers double team and then with all living allies, uh, depending on the health, only seven, only every seven turns. So like pretty much se seven turns could actually have diminishing returns because if um, if you kill somebody on their team, then obviously it removes the chances of this turn going down. So this actually kind of self nurse itself continuously. <laughs> Um, cause where, where you would have like 10 people fighting again, or 10 total, you know, going at each other, 5v5, um, by turn 7, this is back up, you might be able to proc this twice, but then let's say two people are dead over there on that side, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, cause if, you, if you're actually winning that hard, <laughs> who cares, right? But, um, 30%, uh, or less, what does it say, of targets with anti-fan is at, or, at or less, okay, so, Sorry, so if they're at 30% or less, obviously, I think I, I was saying that, I just kind of confusing myself. So, um, if the target's health is at 30% or less, the, the, the double tap pretty much goes off. And, um, I would like to know what Superstar procs. I, what, what causes the Superstar to proc, uh, besides just afflicts the attention mark for 7 turns to the target when the skill hits? So, so does she start the... She, does she start the uh, the round and just tries to superstar everybody or or a superstar or somebody? Um, it would be nice to say uh, afflict superstar to all. If the hit, if the skill hits for seven turns, increases all damage of dot. Period. 
right? That that's a little more understandable, at least for my brain, because this is kind of anyway. So you know, she has her 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 dot her dot passive on her AOE, and then she also has another dot passive on her AOE. This one's uh, for four turns, 62 percent. So technically, if she hits if she hits somebody with this, it, it's it's really nice because. Um, I don't like these uh, these one-time uh, zero out damage. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, these passives, like Dragon Scale, uh, Summer's Blessing, um, and any other whatever thing that's going on. This at least allows the initial to to hit. Actually, it, it kind of wouldn't, would it? Because it, it, I think that that those passives negate everything, and I think she's, she might be, she, from what I'm seeing here, she might be like, she could be dark. Uh, poison could be green. I don't know. Um, where her bread and butter comes in is if she hits you with super star, <clears throat> so all her dots can actually do even more. Which again, I don't know how dot works. I mean, not dot, <laughs> superstar works. It doesn't say afflicts the attention mark I, I i don't know how you're how how does this procs how does this proc it, it'd be nice if you guys line games it'd be nice if you you first of all it'd be nice if you didn't have so much text and have it scroll at a million miles an hour and then on top of that you have confusing shit to begin with so <laughs> whatever that's her stuff that's what she's got um, we're not gonna see her until october 8th so as tempting as all this is, save your zest because you are not gonna get her anytime soon. This is a. Uh, this is about. Let's see. The eighth is next week Thursday, guys. Next week Thursday. So save your, save your money, man. Save your money. Pretty sure folks are gonna be throwing up some. Some draw videos and some comparison and stuff like that. Actually, let me see if I can do that now. Alright, so regular Janai here removes a buff of an enemy and gains one mana. Uh, additionally, if the target is at 80% or more, you gain another mana. And remove one mana to target if they have 30% or more. Overtime effect dot back row allies permanently gain one mana so th this one was giving you mana <clears throat> the other one is actually giving you attack speed and then this one says charm afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with the charm mark and decreases their attack speed by 30 so she doesn't have this charm they remove the charm effect um, I wonder if the charm effect is now the the the, uh, the fan is that what it was called the fan <laughs> doesn't matter I'll check it out here in a second. So her dot actually increases. I think it was like 60 something percent for two turns. It fixes that with poison. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then, no, this is this. I'm sorry, this one <clears throat> might be the same. Yeah, it's 60. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the numbers didn't change on this. But her passive, her, her passive will, will be actually the super fan one or whatever, will be, will be actually giving it 100%. So it actually increase her, her overall damage uh, on the dot side of everything <clears throat> uh, significantly. So that's that's actually pretty good. Um, again, the only problem is that it, there's a lot of cleanses out there. A lot of characters have cleanses, and honestly, she may not even hit. She is green. She is nature. So I I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's good. Maybe it's decent. And her what is it? Her attack speed is 36. So she's really really effing slow. But she's a caster, right? Yeah, she's magical. So most casters are like that. They tend to be that. But she's not bursty. She's not really like. <clears throat> she's not really. Just I don't. I, I can't put my finger on it. But she 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 does. She tries to whittle you down. So I don't think in PvP she's gonna be great. I could be wrong. Please uh, share why you would think she would be great in PvP. Um, maybe for characters that like to revive. And then the next turn, bam, you know, it, it nukes you. <laughs> and I guess it'd be kind of cool if uh, you had her elemental by three and everybody's running greens <laughs> for whatever reason. And like in one turn, it actually hits like the skill one actually hits. 
and then maybe maybe the poison hits you again and then it procs your it procs all elemental breaks <laughs> it'd be it'd have to be a perfect world for that but i mean whatever they're, they're giving green some love and uh i guess they don't really need it i, I think dark needs the most love at this point because i don't i have him but i mean i'm not a fan of non aoe skills but maybe he, he does have cards maybe I, I should start working on him because i Right now I have Shifraken, and I know this video is about Denai right now, but I, I'm also like just kind of rambling here. So, because the, the, the Denai stuff is basically done, um, and I don't I don't have that many dark characters that are worth a damn, unless they <clears throat> they all lie in the legendary area. And then you guys can tell me also. Hey man, you're missing out on X Y character. You should probably buff him. Like Adams, I know everybody talks about Adams, you know, but. Uh, maybe there's, there's, <laughs> there's something somewhere else that I just don't know about. Let me go back one more time and take a look. Now that actually, um, I have some frame of reference. So she has a charm, right? And they removed the charm. So again, if they remove the charm, I wonder if Superstar <clears throat> is their, her, her new fan. Or, excuse me, her new charm. This is... Okay, you hit me, I trigger this. You hit me, I, I trigger, trigger double team. So, if whoever attacks her, then you can actually go back and attack them at some point. <clears throat> and hopefully trigger the double team. Afflicts the attention mark. I'm hoping this is charm. But the, the charm... It, again, Superstar doesn't specify the requirements to meet Superstar's attention. Ugh. Like... Ugh, how could they get simple things like the text? I mean, if you're, you're first of all, you're gonna make this this passive as long as you want anyway, because you've seen you guys have seen these passives, right? They're they're sometimes confusing as hell, at least for me, and um, it's it's mostly confusing, right? Because you they they almost have they almost make you go out there and, and try to figure it out on yourself on your own, which again it shouldn't be that way. It should just be like, hey, this is this is what you require. Okay, so. This, if somebody hits you, you then put these things on them. All right, boom. Everybody gets it. Everybody gets it. If there's a debuff, decreases the attack of targets by 40% for seven terrors, can't be removed. Cool. If there's a debuff on it, right? That's that's the debuff. Then there's a buff. Increases the attack speed of all allies in the same row. Boom. I get that. Everybody gets that. It, it increases the attack speed of all, all all of your allies for 20. That's 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 easy. Afflicts the attention mark of... Ah, good God. <laughs> what? What? All right, guys. Thursday, the eighth. No sooner, no later. Okay, bye.